Hey everybody, this is uh, Carlos here. I'm um, doing a video today as promised. Um, I went to on too many ga uh, too many games today in PA, uh, the gaming convention that I've been telling you guys about in the past two videos. Um, it was really good. It was uh, a little smaller than I thought, but it was still a really good size. They had a lot of different tables there. They had a bunch of tournaments. I didn't really participate in any of them because I wasn't into the games that they were talking about, except for Halo Reach that just came out. They had a tournament with that. But um, it was ten dollars to play, and it was only first person takes the prize. And I pretty much knew that I wasn't the best at it there, so I didn't waste my time. Um, other than that, the gaming convention was good. It was big. Um, it was at the hotel, and they had food there. It was pretty good. Um, like I said, they had a bunch of different games. You would go crazy when you walk in there, and where to even start the prizes. So I wanted to show you guys everything I got. Um, since I got so much stuff. I can't sit here and have a conversation about every game. Like I said in earlier videos, if you want to see a specific review for a specific game or gameplay or something, just uh, leave a comment and I'll make a, a video specifically about that. Because I can't sit here and talk about every single game and you'll know why as I continue the video of how much stuff we got. So let's just get right into this so this video is not 20 minutes long. Um, these two things were a really good deal. I got um, these two Game Gear packages that the guy was selling. As you can tell, it's still marked. Uh, five bucks for each. I thought it was really good. It's like less than a dollar a piece because it comes with six. Uh, granted, only four of them are actually good. The other two are sports games, but um, this one comes with Sonic 2, uh, Desert Speed Trap, Tasmania, and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and Joe Montana Football, and FIFA 96. Uh, these are all for the game gear. So that was really good. And then we also got this one, which has, they all came with Sonic 2, the packages that he had. That was the only same game that they all had. And then this one has Home Alone, Tailspin, Garfield, Clutch Hitter Baseball, and NHL All-Star Hockey. So, definitely worth the for $5 um, each. Over here, uh, for the NES games, we got The Adventure, uh, Zelda 2, The Adventure Link. Um, I forget how much we paid for it, but it was a really good price. By the way, all the prices were mostly really good. There was only this one guy who pretty much had most of his stuff to overpriced, but if you know, then you know you don't have to go to him. But everybody else had really good prices, as you can see in the video. Some of them saw tags on them, and you'll see that the prices are relatively good. So, uh, this was price was good. I, I know it was only $10, but I'm not sure exactly how much anymore. But the last stuff we got, you're just forgetting. Um, then I got uh, the Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. And WWF WrestleMania. Then for Super Nintendo, I got uh, Warrior Woods, Mario's Time Machine, F Zero, and Speedy Gonzalez. Two of these were five, and, uh, and I think. You could also bargain there, which is good. Um, I like the bargain. I mean, you have to be fair and everything. Like this one, Tasmania was 10. I think I asked for like 7, and I got that. So. I forgot to mention this one for uh, the Game Gear. We also got Sonic the Hedgehog, the original. Forgot about that one separately. Moving along here, for the Sega Genesis, I only picked up one game. For the Sega Genesis, I had a lot. A one loose game, I should say because I usually only collect boxes, but uh, I got this one, uh, Zombie Ate My Neighbors. I heard a lot about Zombie Ate My Neighbors, hopefully it's as good as everyone says. Um, I don't know if it was a Genesis or a Super Nintendo that everybody talks about, but I'm assuming the game should be relatively the same anyway. And then, uh, then I also got, uh, for the Sega CD, got Power Rangers. And for the Sega Saturn, I got Daytona USA. Uh, for the original Xbox, I got Metal Slug 3 for 3 bucks. Uh, Burnout 3 Takedown for 3 bucks for the Xbox. Uh, Mega Soft for 3. And Blitz League for 2. So those, those were really good deals too. Um, then I also got, I need another controller for the Saturn. So I got that. This was a... Uh, Two, three dollars. Good. Then I also got uh, let's play 
PlayStation Remote and two other ones that look like this. Got two of those, two bucks each. That was a PlayStation 1. And then the, the multi tap for the PlayStation 1 as well for three. So I got those. Then uh, for the N64, I got uh, Wayne Gretzky's uh, 3D Hockey 98. Perfect Dark, which I got this for eight. And Zelda's Majora's Mask, which I got for 12. For the original Game Boy, I got uh, Mario Tennis. And Yoshi. I also found this finally after looking around for it. I know you can just easily get it on eBay, but I was waiting to get it in the store. Got the expansion pack for the N64, so I can play, finally play Donkey Kong. And I know Perfect Dark has a story that requires it, so. Got that for 10. Then I also got a, a Game Boy Pocket, which I didn't have. It's part of the Game Boy collection. Got this for 10. The DS. Got Big Brain Academy. Then uh, for the N64 box, I got Mario Party 2, 20 bucks. Really good condition box, as you can tell. That was really good. Then uh, for the Atari, got a Breakout, Pitfall 2. These were all like four for a dollar at some places, or a dollar each, depending on what game it was. Uh, Adventure, Atlantis. Centipede, Demon Attack, and Frogger. Then I also got Kaboom, Pitfall, Donkey Kong, Space Invaders, Mega Mania. Apparently, I picked up two Space Invaders by accident. So here's another one with the different artwork and E.T. Because everyone loves to have the E.T. game even though it sucks, well that's why I got it. So that's what we got for the Atari. And then uh, for Genesis games boxed we got Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures for $2, uh, Taz, The Escape from Mars for $2, uh, Streets of Rage for 10. Streets of Rage 2, I should say, for 10. Uh, Wheel of Fortune for 2. And Tiny Toon Adventures for, I think, 3. Then, um, for the PlayStation original, I got Crash Bandicoot Warped. Crash Team Racing. Crash Bandicoot 2, Court Strikes Back. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. WWF Smackdown 2. Need for Speed High Stakes. Grand Theft Auto, the original. GTA 2. Driver 2. And G Gran Turismo 2. For the PlayStation. Then, uh, right before I was about to leave out, I might as well tell you this story. Right before I was about to leave, um, I had like $12 left. And uh, we were looking around on what to spend it on. And I found a sign that said uh, PlayStation games for $3. And I was looking in the box. And in the box were five, uh, six different Dreamcast games. And uh, I looked at them and I was like, I found these. And I'll tell you that right now, I got the keyboard was in the box. Crazy Taxi 2. Ready to Rumble Boxing, 2, NBA 2K, and Soul Reef. Um, just the fact that I saw Crazy Taxi 2 chilling in there was crazy because I know I've seen this game plenty of times and I've been wanting to get it because I have the original for 20 on its own, uh, or 15 depending on where you are. Um, definitely made me hop on that. I asked him for all 6, oh sorry, for 5 instead of 15, I asked him for 12 and he still took it. So essentially I got them less than $3 each. Um, even Soul Weaver goes for 10 on eBay, and Ready to Rumble Box it goes for like 8, and Cuber goes for 15, I think, is what I saw. So, that was the best deal I probably got all day. Right before I walked out the door, I saw these, picked them up for $12, which was crazy, so I got these. 
for the Dreamcast. And the other game I got for the Dreamcast, which I paid, I think, $10 for, was Sonic Adventure. Then for the GameCube. For the GameCube. Oh, no, sorry. For the PS2. Uh, Time Splitters 2. Unreal Tournament. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Crazy Taxi. That was a PS2. And then for the GameCube, I got Warrior Wear Inc. Mega Party Games. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. Excited to try it out. And Super Mario Strikers, which everybody knows and loves. And Measure Prime Echoes. I don't know if this game still goes for cheap, but I saw it for $3. And I'm pretty sure that this goes for a lot more than just $10. I'm pretty sure if you walked into GameStop, it has it for $20. So that was another good deal. And then the last thing I got, I believe, was the Sega CD. I got this for $32 over there. Guy says it works. It came with a power cable. Um, so, got this for $32. Bucks. So I could add to my uh, Genesis. I believe I already showed you guys this. Um, Big Brain Academy for the DS. I don't know, but it was just sitting here almost. So, that's pretty much everything we got um, as of today at the show. Um, we got some pretty good deals. I would definitely suggest you guys to live around the area in New York, New Jersey, to definitely go there. They have it every six months. It's uh, too many games.com if you want to check them out. They have the next one in the spring. They have a lot of stuff. And if you're into collecting boxes, they have a lot of boxes for everything. I'm into collecting boxes, but not so much as hardcore that I won't get a Super Nintendo game unboxed. But they have a lot of boxes for a lot of games. Um, decent prices. Like I got Mario Party 2 for 20 which isn't bad. And you saw the box was in perfect condition. So. But they have boxes for everything. N64, Super Nintendo. They had a whole stack of Atari boxes too. So And they were only 5 bucks a piece. So that was looking crazy. So definitely a good place to check out. You guys should definitely go. Other than that, um, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.